Hey everybody, it's Emily again, and welcome to week 21 of the Big Map Out. Signs of spring. It's March in Ohio, and we're gonna go out into our spaces and look for signs of spring, listen for signs of spring, and smell some signs of spring. First thing I've been noticing lately is how good it smells when I go outside. And so don't be shy. Get down on the ground, get low to the ground, and start smelling. Oh, it smells so good. Old leaves and a new sense of, oh, maybe if, even if I come over here to the, to the grass. Oh yeah, that smells so good. And you can note different smells on your map. Um, you can also come over to the ground where you're see maybe some little green green guys green gals green plant people coming up and you could draw them and note their shapes and sizes of the leaps and leaves and maybe even look them up in a in a field guide wildflowers that humans have planted and maybe even gotten loose into the um, fields and and forests of Ohio nearby and you might have some in your backyard the aconite which is a yellow flower is blooming some places I wonder if you could find a yellow aconite and then find it in your field guide too some snowdrops violets and maybe even some crocuses see if you can find some of those wildflowers this week now let's also I'll come over here i'm wondering about buds on trees so i'm noticing that there are some buds oh just on my face right now you can kind of see it there are these little buds that uh, already start to grow in the winter time but in the springtime they get bigger and bigger and swell so look for buds starting to swell you can kind of note them and draw them and their size this week you could even measure going back to our lesson on measuring if you wanted to measure them they're so small and tiny and then see if next week they get bigger okay so measure or look for uh, the buds on trees and maybe come back to the same tree so that you can note that those same buds and type of buds because buds are bigger or smaller depending on what kind of tree that you're looking at and finally let's listen in to signs of spring do you hear that off in the distance Sounds like a thumb going over a, um, a comb. Brrr, brrr. There's some wetlands around here. I happen to know that call is the sound of a chorus frog. So if you have any water nearby your space, go and listen. If you get too close, they probably will stop because they might be scared. But if you kind of keep a little bit of a distance. <gasps> Do you hear it? you can start to hear it. And maybe even some tree frogs might start to call. Oh, have fun exploring sights, <laughs> sounds, and smells of spring. Okay, everybody, and now we're going to map our signs of spring. Okay, so this big map out map that we have is at Agraria, but I was at my home today. So instead of mapping on the map, I'm going to put a little thing to the side that says March 4th at home. And underneath it, I've written, I've written um, that the first aconites were blooming of the spring, the first chorus frogs were singing, first sign of spring, and the first wet earth smell, and the bud on the tree was one half of a centimeter long. And that is right about there at the one half centimeter mark. You can see that. 
So they're really small still. Now, what I also did though too, was yesterday I was sitting out at Agraria and I did out of the picnic table and I did see a honeybee. Actually, I heard it, it came buzzing by my ear. So here I drew a bee and wrote that the first honeybee of spring was there. So enjoy mapping on your map the, the signs of spring.